the cotangent of the inverse sine of negative 2 over th root 2 over 3. Start by figuring out the angle for the inverse sine. And because this, is this has a negative component to it, it's going to be in quadrant 4 because that's the bounds of negative, or excuse me, the inverse of sine. So in this case, we're going to have negative root 2. It's going to be 3. And we don't know what this mysterious x value is. And to find that, we're going to take 3 squared minus quantity negative root 2 squared. And the square root of this ends up being 9 minus 2, which is the square root of 7. And the cotangent is simply x over y. So in this case, it's going to be root 7. Uh, hold on a second here. Cotangent of x is equal to root 7 over negative root 2. And you don't want your radical on the bottom, so multiply both sides, or both top and bottom, by root 2. And we get negative, negative root 14 over 2.